Good morning. I'm up here at the uh, trailhead, Mount Mittany State College. It is a uh, cloudy day, but uh, that may work out. No uh, sun for the uh, climb up through there. And so I'm gonna hit a couple of the uh, lookouts and uh, see what I can see. Uh, we are in the uh, Pennsylvania wilds now. There is a uh, message on the mountain board. Hikers wildlife report. What did you see? Of course, I like this one. All good things are wild and free. And a, uh, a gathering of uh, His Henry David Thurra. I took a walk in the woods and came out taller than the trees. How about that? <laughs> Got a picnic table. You want to play chess? A walk in the woods, an escape from the unwild. Nature welcomes you. A hiker's haiku. And there's a bench for when I make it down. The uh, ascent has started. Where I came from. And this is where I'm going, and I expect, uh, well, about a mile maybe, ascent. Station number one, white trail to my right, up ahead of me then, the blue trail. So I expect to uh, go up the blue trail and come down the white. The higher I get, the more rocks I get. It's becoming more dense for a while. Well, that was uh, quite a climb up 
to uh, station number 10. I'll show it to you uh, now. I'll show you a map. I'll show you where I'm going. At least so far. I came from here, I took the blue trail up to here, number 10, and now I'm going to go out towards station number 9, Tom Smith Overlook, but before I get there then uh, I have the Nittany Maw Overlook, and then I'll be heading down this way to station number 8. I'm approaching the uh, Nittany Mall overlook. Why I scramble over more rocks. And of course, the leaves are on the tree. And this is probably about the best spot. Well, uh, finally, I have gotten away from the uh, traffic noise. It makes such a more quiet walk for me. And that gives us a chance to uh, hear the forest. To hear and appreciate the uh, Pennsylvania wilds. on my way to station number 11. The Tom Smith Overlook. This mountain is more lush and its trails more inviting thanks to the patient work and quiet leadership of its friend, Tom Smith. Presented by the Mount Nittany Conservancy, 2011. Well, thank you, Tom Smith. After a uh, 0 0.9 mile waddle, as John Muir would say, he never liked to hike, he liked to waddle his way through the woods. And uh, 26 minutes after the Tom Smith overlook, I have arrived here at, at the uh, next Pins overlook. Pins Valley overlook. And of course, with the trees on, we're not going to see anything. But where we're here, and I'm on my way. To a scanter, I'll say, to Little Flat Overlook. As I make uh, my way on top of the ridge, onward to the Little Flat Overlook. Just a little bit of information about the uh, Mount Nittany Conservancy. Their mission, we conserve Mount Nittany in its natural state as a symbol of Penn State and the Nittany Valley and for the benefit of the public. The uh, summer Pennsylvania wilds, the summer forest has given us a view. Little flat overlook, 1820 feet.
I got off the uh, white trail. Point one miles to somewhere that said uh, the area of deeded square inches. I said, well, point one miles, I guess I can do that, take a look and see what it is. So, uh, the sign up there, would you like to own a little piece of the mountain? You can purchase a one square inch life estate deed at www.mitney.org. You want to own a little bit of this? There you go. And I was looking for a bench. And I thought to myself, well, the next bench I'm going to run into, I guess, will be down on the trailhead. <laughs> but look what I found. Next best thing to a bench. We practice conservation, protection, and management of Mount Nittany and surrounding lands and promote related stories, traditions, and cultural experiences as enriching historic, scenic, recreational, and environmental resources. After about a 0.4 mile saunter, waddle, I have arrived Bowesburg overlook and uh, so far it's uh, the best overlook I've seen but I know that there's one coming up that is much better <laughs> So I am arriving at the Mike Lynch Overlook, and uh, it's the best. I've saved the best for last. Why? Here we are overlooking. Penn State University, Beaver Stadium. I'm about uh, halfway down. Mount Nittany. So from the uh, from the trailhead up is about 0.7 miles, but it is a good uh, climb. If you're thinking about just uh, taking a short hike up up on top of Mount Nittany, uh, that's what you're up against. It's a good climb, and I'm. Oh, excuse me, and I'm being careful coming down. But of course, I'm about halfway down and uh, the sun's coming out. And well, the sun goes in. But that's a good thing. I'm uh, three quarters way down Mount Nittany, and I am surprised. A bench. Well, I'm just going to have to sit here for a few minutes. So the bench. Recognize this?
4.8 miles, the blue route. I hope that gives uh, you a, uh, a look at uh, what's it like out there on the Mount Nittany Loop Trail. And of course, then it gives you a dandy look at the uh, Mike Lynch Overlook. Do you see uh, State College and Penn State University, Beaver Stadium? It's been a uh, good hike. What did I see? What do I have to put down on that board down there? What did I see? I saw a Ritter girl.